Bomber jackets, they're like the other white meat in an outerwear dressing for spring. They're not a trench, but did you know that they can be as equally as versatile? So you're considering a bomber as your outerwear for spring 2023. Let's talk about how to nail this, not only in terms of technicalities, but the right piece can really help your wardrobe come alive. And it's gonna be really easy for you to just throw it on again and again. Also, none of the looks that I'm gonna show you today require any skinny jeans or leggings. No. I think there are two really big things to consider. Number one being the jacket itself. So what are the features? How is it going to function within your greater wardrobe and the types of gaps that you actually needed to fill? I have two bomber jackets. So this is a men's oversized bomber jacket by D2 Square that I got secondhand in Milan. There are so many things I love about this jacket. Number one, the fit. It has volumes in place that I wanted to have volume. Also, I love where it ends. It ends like right at the point where most of my tucked out blouses end and so it is very easy for me to kind of clean up the lines with this jacket. Also it has this great contrasting detail on the inside. You don't always see it but I know she's there and it has like this contrasty wording on the back. So this is going to be the one that I go to for like weekends and pretty much mostly in situations that are a bit less formal. And the second bomber jacket that I have is this number here. So I love this one in situations where I want to feel a bit more elevated. It's in this luxurious suede material and oh by the way, it's vintage. I love the buttons. The pops of gold really help me out because I don't have a ton of jewelry and this kind of always adds that little element of shine that I am missing in an outfit. I think this is from either the late 80s or early 90s because there is still quite a bit of padding, but I mean, it's just warm. It's not very bulky padding. So this one is a great piece for events that might feel a little bit more upscale or something that you just want to feel a little bit more put together for. And so we roll into the second and probably most important point if you're considering a bomber as your jacket of choice and that is your styling sensibility what do you like to express when you're getting dressed <laughs> <laughs> what is your style story? What's your style narrative? And here's an example just with me. So I always love to have that tension between the masculine and the feminine. So guess which one I'm going to go to? Yes this jacket, of course, because number one, it's a man's jacket. <laughs> and number two, it just fits that oversized, it has volume, and it always just feels cool when I have it on. This is always a constant rotation for me for those reasons, and it really speaks to my styling sensibilities. The other jacket is for those moments when I really want to play up my quiet luxury sensibilities. Classic fits, classic cuts, and then elevated materials. So that jacket and the suede, She's the one. This is going to be the part that takes a little bit of time for you to really look over your wardrobe and really think through your personal style, but it's going to really pay off because then you're going to be able to choose pieces that are going to be something that you are able to reach for over and over again. Now I'm going to show you some looks that I've built for my wardrobe with these jackets just to give you a sense of how you can either incorporate some of those traditional styling rules and hacks or not incorporate them at all to just bring together a look that you absolutely love. This first look makes Erin in 6th, 7th, 8th grade very proud. She's breaking all the rules. She's baggy on baggy on baggy, which was really sort of my thing back then. And it still kind of is. As you can see, I still love baggy silhouettes. That's exactly why I wanted to show this look because it's really not about like nailing all the proportions and silhouettes. Sometimes it's about what you want to bring through in what you wear and how you get dressed that day. So there are two elements that kind of serve to feminize this look just a little bit. One, of course, there is the shoes. I have on a heel pointy and more dainty silhouette, very different from the rest of the, the look that I have on. And the second thing, of course, is the hair. I have on like a floral bandana with pink in it, and then I also have my long ponytail. This hairstyle sometimes really kind of serves to feminize a lot of the more masculine looks that I tend to wear. So that's just something else to consider and something that I don't know if we always consider enough is that the whole look is how it really comes together. The thing that I would avoid here is I would not pair it with my trainers here. So this 
this for me just creates too, too much volume and it doesn't add any type of contrast. So those are really the nuances to consider when you're getting dressed. It's not always just about like the fashion rule and the fashion principle. It's about a story that you want to tell and how you feel comfortable showing up in the world. I feel comfortable in this baggy look. Oh, another thing I might consider is these ballet flats. So these are also going to give you a little bit of extra skin showing. So this might help to create that tension that you want. I just want to do it with these jeans now because I haven't had them tailored yet and they are just hella long and you're not going to even see them. This next look, this is inching ever so slightly towards the more formal end of the spectrum. And I only say that because of two things that I really consider in the styling. One is buttoning the shirt all the way up so it's quite neat. And then also just ensuring that the lines were kind of even. So we have the bottom of the shirt lining up with the bottom of the jacket. Otherwise, this look is just all personality. It's really giving me that cool girl, school girl type of vibe where we have like shoes with white socks, chunky shoes with white socks at that. And then we have like a buttoned up shirt that easily be a part of any school uniform and then there's my hair it's in like a ponytail again kind of giving us school girl so I absolutely love this look and it is playing on some of my styling sensibilities where I have on the oversized masculine bomber jacket of course and I'm also mixing in a few of those rules that we think about when we want to have a look that is just aesthetically pleasing and of course here I'm showing it with the different shoe options because this base look is something that I think that you could take to many different venues. The heels or even the Prada model list, I think that that could take you to some sort of nice event, but maybe something not, that's not very fancy. And then just the white sneakers, something just running around on the weekend, running errands or whatever. And maybe just one quick note on these sandals. So I know I go to these quite a bit, but they are actually quite comfortable. Number one is because they have this strap here which really keeps my foot in the shoe and I always have a problem with that because I have like more narrow heels and so this is clutchery and the bottom soles are rubber and so that also really helps to ensure that you're not just hitting like the ball of your foot against the concrete so you have a little bit more of impact absorption. This next look I think is really starting to toe the line of how formal I can get with this oversized bomber jacket on. But this is something that I would wear into the office, especially if I had on like a very nice smart looking tote, something that wasn't too fussy in shape or form or color. So what I love about this is that it's still allowing me to carry one of my core styling sensibilities but bring it also with me to work and in a way that's not too ostentatious or very show. The main styling hacks for this outfit really are like the t-shirt popping out from underneath the black sweater. So it's giving you that visual break from having an outfit that's just completely monochrome and I think it's especially important at the waist. Giving a little definition there where otherwise it could just like read all black and just get completely lost. The second thing again is the shoes. So in this outfit I am using my pointy boots and I love those again because they just always add something a little bit more elevated, a little bit more feminine. It really kind of draws your eye like straight to them, especially if you have on like the wider leg. Overall, like the moral of the story with the bomber jacket, it has been a way for me to consistently and easily and quickly just add in those elements that I love when it comes to styling and namely the masculine versus feminine and you can actually take it into many different settings. Now we're really starting to get into the more elevated, clean cut, quiet luxury types of looks that I love. So this look is a very clean look, very vanilla girl, but the thing that I think that makes this look kind of quiet luxury is that there is a bit of soft contrast going on. So a lot of times the monochrome looks can read a bit dramatic because it's tone on tone on tone on tone. It's very intentional. Here I have on the same color blouse and pants, but I'm breaking it up with the things that are kind of around it. So we have on the belt that is a chocolate brown that kind of defines the silhouette between the top and the bottom. And then also, of course, the jacket. The jacket is definitely a darker tone here. So you have something else to kind of draw your eye to, kind of frames the look a bit more. 
Also, I don't have much jewelry, and so adding in those details like the gold button, the gold on the hardware, the gold on the belt, things like that are gonna really help me to kind of elevate that look and bring it to that area of luxury without having to have like a bust down wrist or a bunch of other jewelry things that I just don't have right now. So this is what I would avoid. So the shirt here, untucked, I love untucked things, of course. However, it's just kind of sticking out of the bottom of the jacket here. The lines don't line up and it doesn't feel like intentional or an idea, it just kind of feels unfinished. So this next look is keeping that quiet luxury vibe. However, the thing that I love about this and wanted to mention, bomber jackets, it allows you to build that collar on top of your look if you need to, which is very, very functional. So I build a collar basically out of my scarf here, and that's going to give me a layer of warmth should I need it in the springtime. Very functional for someone who is a city dweller, who is gonna constantly need to have layers depending on the weather situation. In this look, I'm also also still maintaining those pops of gold details throughout the different pieces of hardware that I have on. And besides the quiet luxury, where do I show up in this look? It's in the coloring, the mixing of the neutrals, which is constantly for me a go-to trick. I'm mixing that really nice navy blue with the black. There's something about that combination that I always love that just feels a bit more elevated. All in all, this suede bomber jacket is going to be excellent and great for creating looks that just feel a little bit more timeless, a bit more put together. And that's all there is. Yes, that's all there is. I just want to give you another perspective on how to use or not use those styling hacks and tricks that you get from like the golden ratio and so and so forth. If you enjoyed this, definitely let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.